overlooking Tucson here and just a beautiful colors once again waking you up here on your Tuesday morning. We're going to start with your traffic weather together with full one meteorologist Shay Storms. It is 513 right now. Storm alert is high Shay and of course you got the Doppler radar show us exactly what we're going to be dealing with today. Yeah, well most of us are quiet right now but not all of us. Up towards Maricopa County we are dealing with a few thunderstorms in southern portions of Maricopa County and also parts of Pinal County waking up with a little bit of activity. A lot of that has cleared out but still stay storm alert and listen out for that thunder especially if you're waking up in Pinal County or heading up towards Phoenix or even just up towards Chandler. They're waking up to a lot of uh, lightning, a lot of thunder out there this morning, but most of us are dry. We have a few clouds out there as we saw in that live look, but that will clear out as the morning goes on and that's going to help set us up for a pretty active day, especially from Tucson to the south and to the east where the MPI is sitting around five or six. High thunderstorm risk for Tucson, Nogales, Sierra Vista and Douglas. Moderate thunderstorm risk for Safford and Sells and a low thunderstorm risk for Ajo. In fact, most of us will stay dry out towards far western portions of Pima County. Storm threats for today and tonight. Low for the dust threat, but not zero. We could still see some blowing dust, so stay storm alert today. Uh, damaging wind going to be an issue, especially where those strong to severe storms develop, and the uh, uh, flood risk and the hail risk is at moderate, so again, not zero. So where those stronger to severe storms develop, we could see some flash flooding, some small hail, and uh, some damaging wind too. For your future cast, clouds will begin to clear by about 10 a.m. Still kind of holding on to a few near the Arizona New Mexico border in Cochise County, but most of us dealing with sunshine. And again, that's going to be the energy that we need later on. By 1 p.m., we'll start to see some activity here in eastern portions of Pima County, kind of up and down I-10, also in parts of Cochise and Graham and Greenlee County. We'll definitely see some pockets of pretty heavy rainfall before 4 p.m. And around 4 p.m., we'll see a little bit of activity here in Tucson and out towards the east and northeast as well potentially in Pinal County, but notice far western portions of Pima County. You guys are pretty quiet today. As we work our way towards 8 p.m. tonight, we'll still be holding on to a few lingering showers, but most of us will dry out by late tonight and by early tomorrow morning. We're on the dry side and we'll start to see uh, again more sunshine for your uh, morning tomorrow and another round of thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon. Forecast rainfall totals about a half inch or less where you see green, so that's definitely favoring areas from Tucson to the south and east and up towards the north as well. Uh, places like Oracle could see a little over a quarter of an inch. Uh, definitely seeing a few pockets where a half inch to an inch and a half will be possible and that's where those thunderstorms develop. Forecast rainfall totals though over the next week looking pretty good. Definitely favoring areas to the southeast in the southeastern corner of the state where we could potentially see about a half inch to an inch of rainfall here in Tucson. Anywhere from trace amounts to a tenth of an inch in far eastern portions of eastern Pima County. We could see a little over a quarter of an inch to a half inch of rainfall over the next week. But parts of Pinal, central and western portions of Pima County potentially not seeing anything over the next seven days. But at least we'll have an opportunity to pick up some showers or some rainfall, I should say, over the next few days. But for the highs, only uh, pushing into the upper 90s and low 100s, which is much better compared to over the weekend. To the south and east, mainly in the 90s today. And as we work our way towards this weekend, we're going to start to see some drier air work its way in. So temperatures will gradually start to warm. But uh, over the next couple of days, coverage is looking pretty good. So temperatures should stay pretty near that 100 degree mark. Maybe, maybe double digits on Friday and Saturday. We're getting pretty close, but temperatures will climb into early next week. That's